again everyone, I'm Nesbitt, you're the people of Skyrim. Happy New Year to you, a belated Happy New Year I guess. Let's get in game. <clears throat> okay folks. It's been a while since I've streamed. Um, we had a terrible end of the year. <laughs> Uh, here, just some updates, folks. Um, this particular stream is just, you know, as the title says, it's um, testing more Thor Ages, uh, which is an old TPSC 2 mod, um, which I took down a while ago. I'll get into that as we go through the stream. Um, but uh, it's coming back probably in the next couple of days on Xbox and PC platforms, okay? Um, and in this particular stream, this vanilla only stream, we're testing the uh, Morthor Ages mod and we're testing an EMB called Setting Suns that I'm working on. Um, but this is with no other lighting mod and no other lighting support. So, it's, so I just want to see what it looks like as a test with vanilla. And so far it looks okay. There's a couple of small issues, but we'll get to that as the game goes on. So these are the two things I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be testing uh, the EMB and Morthor Ages. Now, I've just got to leave the stream a second in terms of... I just want to post this um, stream. On my Discord. Because it hasn't done that automatically. So bear with me a sec. Normally it does it automatically, but it hasn't done that. Let's just let everyone know I'm around, if, if there is anyone around at this time of day. Okay. And back in game we go. Okay, let's get on with it. Right. So what I'm doing here is I want to be checking the pathing of all the NPCs and uh, everybody should be doing what they're doing. Have you seen my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come home. I've moved this guy's um, idol. He generally leans up at the bridge. But in Morthor Ages, the bridge has changed a bit, so uh, that's good. He's doing what he should be doing. Let's just uh, what do you need? check the platform. I've altered the platform as well, made some small corrections. And I hope you can hear me okay. Got to alter that. That's a bit sloppy, uh I mean, it's all right as a walkway goes, but I'd level that off. And um, the AE fishermen and other aspects of um, AE have been moved to here. The fisherman is here. Okay, as you can see, I put him next to a boat. Seems logical. This is uh, one of two player homes. We've got a vampire home in Warthor Ages and a basic home. Need something? And there's a key here. Let's see. If, oh, let's just put my HUD on so we can see what's going on. What am I doing? So we take the key for the uh, player home. And this is the EMB actually currently present on. Let's just turn it off. And that's what we get. That's vanilla Skyrim for you. It's been a long time since I've looked at vanilla Skyrim <laughs> it's pretty crappy um, the EMB is certainly making a or is having a profound impact on the lighting here um, and it, I've got no other weather mod loaded up folks I actually quite like this so so far so good but like I said I've got a, a, f a few checks to make yet um, and this is the setting suns EMB um, that I've made for the Lux series um, and for a weather mod. Um, 
but I'm also just wanna I wanna see if I what I'm actually looking for is is seeing if this EMV is good enough just to be put out as a vanilla EMV as well. Um for people to use, you know, who have potato um PCs if you like. And actually looking at it, it's pretty good. Um let's go on into the first house. First player home. This is your the first player. It's a bit bright in here. So I'll have to do some interior changes here to the lighting. Seems a little bit bright to me. Let's just bring the... Let's just bring the interior lighting down a bit. Just save that for now. I mean, there's going to be some changes required, but for now, let's just bring the lighting down to a, a level that looks a bit better. It's a very simple player home um, in in Morthor. Um, and it was made for a female, really. Um, so you guys may not like it, but um, it was one of my testers at the time when this mod was made, Sword. So I made that for her. There's, a, uh, there's also a small vampire player home in Morthor Ages as well. Um, let's just... And again, this was always built in a vanilla style, so... What I mean by that is, um, it's not fancy. It's, you know, it's, it's really supposed to be immersive, so it sits in with a vanilla game. Uh, and sits in with TPSC, is, uh, sorry, not TPSC, TPS2. If you had to, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. <coughs> if you had TPS2 loaded up, right? There would now be a settlement around about here. Just over here, literally. Okay? There'd be a settlement there. And it has like two or three uh, trainers and a shopkeeper and other stuff. Okay? So... If you had TPS2 loaded up, well, that's TPS2 SE on the Nexus. There's an SE version and there's an AE version of TPS2 on PC. And obviously on um, Xbox, it's got the AE version. So if you had the Xbox or PC version of TPS2, um, you could use Morthor Ages with it. So you'd have another settlement just over the way there that I've just pointed out. And all this as well. So, you know... Um, one of the things I've always done with my build is tried, you know, I've sort of done a lot of different things in a lot of different areas or a, a lot of, you know, in all the settlements I've done different stuff. But the point I'm making is, is when you add, uh, place these add-ons with TPS2, you know, you get a full DLC size mod. And Morthor Ages was taken down a while ago because uh, Morthor was just so problematic. And I wasn't sure really... Um, whether it was the mod or whether it was Morthor, because Morthor, Morthor is a bit of a shit show when it comes to um, NPCs doing what they should be doing. But at the moment, touch wood, I've made some adjustments and some corrections to Morthor in the Morthor Ages mod, and everything seems to be working quite well. So what I'm saying is, the Morthor Ages mod actually improves MP NPC performance. And I am running the unofficial patch as well. Arthmore's unofficial patch and alternate start in this um, playthrough, this practice, or this test, sorry, of uh, this upda updated Morthor Ages. Okay. And I haven't done many updates. They've been mostly corrections and a few other touches like this, a stink extension, sorry, onto the roofing of the um, abodes and stuff like that. Just small things again vanilla like things that sort of fit in with the game um so i've just got to adjust that there look a bit of nav mesh or oh, there's actually a collision i've just added I get lost sometimes i'm not sure where i've I just go. added a collision not, here it might be sticking out a bit so i might need to just double check that let's just see <laughs> okay so i've got a collision there that probably needs adjusting okay let's just see if he paths back okay Hopefully he will. A small fix there. 
yeah, there is. You can tell that the collision is actually in the nav mesh. Probably needs to be adjusted and moved, or the collision, one or the other, or both. So I'll do that before I upload um, the mod to Xbox and PC. Now I haven't streamed for a while, folks, um, simply because uh, at the beginning of December last year we come down, or just before, we all become ill um, in the family. My, my son, my missus, myself, and it just went on and on, and there was really no respite at all from this illness, this flu. We thought it had cleared, or then we caught something else, you know, um, he went back to school, either bought something back or we caught something from somewhere else, and it just went on and on and on, and, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, yeah, it's been a very tiring period, um, early part of Christmas wasn't much fun but coming into the new year things are starting to get a bit better here so I'm gonna slowly start building up the streams uh, in the next few months or the next month sorry I'll start increasing the volume again in the testing of uh, the Setting Suns mod pack and EMB okay um, which will be coming out the EMB will be out in January end of January okay it should be out it should be done by January now um, I won't put a, you know, say that's a promise, but all being well with the way things are going at the moment, it looks like it should be out in January. And um, if you're listening to this video later and uh, or this stream, and you're wondering where I've been and you were following me before, um, you know, I I stopped streaming about a month ago. I really appreciate your support and I'm sorry that you all missed out on that and that the streams um, stopped. It was very unfortunate but there's not a lot I could do about it folks. We, like I say, we've been really rough here. Um, Morthor Age just sort of stops here really in terms of its construction uh, with the uh, guard post here but there is a little vampire house here with a backstory and which will have a quest in the future. This is Twilight Sanctuary. All right. And it's a very small abode, but it just provides you with somewhere to sleep in the vampire coffin. All right. And uh, there's a backstory with the diary here. Okay. And that's it, really. I mean, it's not a big abode. It's just a small little shelter if you're a vampire. And with the vampire theme in Morthor, it seemed appropriate to add a little abode there as well. On top of all the other vampire themes that are in Morthor. Okay. Now I'm just going to check. Uh, just checking my stream a minute, folks. And. Uh, okay. Going back in game, bear with me. Okay, so let's go back in then. So that's Twilight um, Sanctuary, which is a little vampire home, as I was saying, that we just uh, exited there. And what I want to do is stick the frames on, of course, as well. Let's just check the frames don't um, act er erratically, and they shouldn't. This is a. I've got an EMB on, but like I say, it's purely vanilla. And like I say, this EMB that I've got on, I think it really does enhance. Um, the look of the game um, and it shouldn't be um, too heavy to use there's no other weather mod with it it's just working with the Skyrim weather system so Staying safe, like I, I say once I finish my tests if, if this uh, EMB holds up well to all the environments and interiors I'll put it out for just vanilla you know along with the setting suns the full setting suns EMB as well but I thought I might as well investigate this option of this EMB. Oh, and let me just say as well, Morthor Ages, if, you, if you're sort of looking at things and you think they're not level, you're right, they're not. You, you know, I, I made Morthor, sort of Morthor Ages, well, it's sort of, the name sort of says it, you know, it's sort of rickety and, and sort of a bit broken down um, and it's a combination of a few wood walkways and um, other stoneworks as you come in. You're like me, eh? Don't fancy those clunky two-handed So, um, yeah, Morthor Ages was, was you know, 
it's not fancy it's minimalist because it's supposed to sit and work with TPS2 as I was saying earlier so like I said if you run TPS2 whether it's the SE or AE version you, you know there's um, there's a couple of homes in Morthor but there's no uh, shopkeepers or extra uh, trainers or anything because if you use TPS2 as I said they're all on they're just there's a settlement just outside of um, Morthor here if you use that that mod and that has the trainers and shopkeepers uh, there okay in that mod so again you know as with all my builds um, what I try to do with all of them is uh, the, with the settlements is is make keep them vanilla keep them lightweight so the performance stays good but create some interest as well and and spread my content co sorry content out so whether you've got a potato PC or a larger PC you know you can or you, indeed if you're on Xbox you know if you uh, do things sensibly on Xbox and you don't overload your Xbox you can run no my stuff again. with relative ease now um, again uh, this is this this updated Morthor Ages will be for AE. Um, I'll I'll put out the SSE version as well because it's easy enough just to remove the support that I've given for AE um, and the fisherman. Um, okay, I've moved the fisherman to here, look, and uh, the fishing as well. So you cast your line here. So you know um, any AE content has been allowed for the the first player home if you don't know Morthor Ages Morthor Ages is here okay the key for it is found in here need something on the enchantment table I've now locked that house and you've got the vampire home which I just showed you a second ago um, and of course this area will be quest driven like TPSC in the future in TPS 3 so because I'll take in the be I'll be taking the best elements of TPSC TPS 2 and when I make the TPS3 questing version, um, TPS3 will have Morthor in it, this Morthor, not the TPSC Morthor. Um, and uh, other aspects, uh, it will have the TPSC outskirts settlement as well. So actually Morthor will be quite big when TPS3 comes out, but it will have lots of quests around it as well. But for now, like I say, this is um, just a mod that I took down years ago, about a year ago simply because Morthor was just such a, a shithole and I wanted to make sure it wasn't um, to be an adventurer like you. Morthor Ages uh, sort of, you know, causing extra problems and making sure Morthor Ages played well in a collective um, group of um, mods in a load order as well. So I've made a lot of um, corrections to this mod and updates as well. Technical corrections in terms of nav mesh, in movement of um, NPCs, idols and other stuff. And so far, it's looking really good. Um, so I will be loading it after some more testing. <coughs> I will be um, uploading this work. mod to yeah, Xbox and PC. Probably in the next three or four days. No if not sooner, okay? So, um, so like I say, yeah, it's, um, it seems so far, touch wood, uh, Morthor seems a lot... Oh, well, do you want to check the sword mill, man? Bear with me. I'm running Arthmore's unofficial patch and alternate start. And of course, Arthmore makes a lot of fixes, but even in Morthor, right? This guy, even with um, Arthmore's fixes, this guy was still temperamental. Um, but so far, um, before this stream and in this stream, because I saw him, he's moving now. He would just stand here, even with Arthmore's um, an unofficial it. patch. Hardly a safe but place. at the moment, he seems to be working properly which I haven't seen um, for a while even with TPSC or other mods that I've ran or other or other um, overhaul mods you know um, like Soldier of Wars or others you know I mean Morthor is a very temperamental area so at the moment touch wood uh, it seems to be it feels better as well so that's good. But again, Morthor does look nice with the um, EMB on. The Setting Suns EMB. Like I say, no other weather mods. No other lighting mods. Just the EMB. <coughs> Let's get into the night. Oh, we're getting there anyway. And see what it looks like in the night. 
<coughs> Sorry, folks. A bit of a cough still. Mm. And, of course, we should see an, some unusual sunsets as well. And sunrises. Let's just... Um, skyline oh, maybe a little bit of work on that skyline just to smooth it out let's just run through to the night now um, hello Jack nice to see you mate we're feeling a little bit better mate yeah it's been a long bloody hard month I tell you um, yeah, just, you know, just like, we just couldn't get rid of it. It just, you know, we th start, thought we were starting to feel better, and then the kid went back to school um, just before the Christmas, and, oh, look at that, that looks nice. Um, and then he sort of had a temperature within a couple of days of being back at school, and the missus thought she was feeling better, and it just went on and on, and um, no energy at all, you know. And I'm actually going to, I'm get, what I'm saying is, folks, is I'm actually going to, build back these streams slowly you know um like i say we we've, we've been really rough here so um and the streams can be quite demanding along with all the other work i've got to do so um i'm not going to be rushing back with daily streams okay um i want to focus on getting the e and b out then the mod pack because i've been saying you know i was hoping to get it out before christmas then all this shit happened um, with illness um so yeah, I just want to not overstretch myself. Just get the E and B out, get the mod pack out. <laughs> oh, hello, uh, Yoaf. Yeah, terrible. It's been terrible. Wherever I go, or family, or extended family, or friends, you know, it's like everybody everywhere has been hit so hard. Um, you know, with either this flu or you know, it's been flu for us. And like a code as well, I think. I think we may have got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just it's been, it's been a nightmare. But like I say, we are uh, we are starting to feel better, so that's good. Um, so that's really good, you know. But um, yeah, I hope you all, you know, again, happy New Year to you all. Um, and I'm sorry I wasn't around for a month or so. I mean, you know, some people wonder where I was in and. Um, you know, I know people sort of uh, has given me a lot of time with the streams and one thing or another, and I appreciate it. Um, and it's good to see you all back. And like I said, I'm sorry I, I've been away, but it couldn't really be helped. But I will be doing more, you know, I, I will get back to full-time streaming. I reckon, I'm going to say February, all right, because I am going to go slow. Um, because we still got a, a fair amount going on here. But, you know, how many streams a week? Let me think. Maybe two or two maybe three streams a week I'm gonna start off with today um, and then Sunday I'll come back with the um, oblivion stream and then once I finished the EMB I'll do some streams and some technical work uh, and videos for the EMB then I'll get the mod pack out and once I got the mod pack out I'll start doing streams full-time um, one of the things I found actually just before Christmas I, you know, I was getting quite stressed out because, um, you know, the, the streams are actually quite a lot to do on their own, just planning and everything. So, um, yeah, I think I'm, you know, I'm going to go slow is what I'm saying. Anyway, let's let's see how this lighting all looks at night time with this uh, vanilla EMB. All right. I like there look the the reflective sort of um, flicker of the, the candle there or the lantern. So, um so yeah, let's uh, let's just move into the night then. Oh, we're gonna have a bright one. Okay. Let's go vanilla. That's vanilla. That's the E and B. So that's much better.
So yeah, I mean, if you guys and girls have been struck down, you know, I hope you feel, all feel better soon. Oh, and that you have a great year as well. But this looks nice, folks. I really like this. I really miss more four ages, and um, the rain's a bit loud now. Um, let's just go into the home and I'll just have a little chat about. Um, and actually, go and check these lanterns and lighting out here. So, what is it? <clears throat> Let's just get out of the rain a minute. It's a bit loud in my ear. Okay. Yeah, actually, mate, people have been, you know, um, really um, good about it. You know, they just wondered where I was. That's all. So, yeah, this is this is just the setting sun Z and B, Jack, right? And vanilla, Skyrim vanilla. No other lighting. There's no other lighting at all. That's what makes it so impressive, I think. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, so yeah, this is just vanilla and my setting sun Z and B. And I thought I'd try this out as I was testing Morthor with just a vanilla test. Sorry, Morthor ages with just a vanilla test. I thought, I thought, I thought to myself yesterday, I thought, well, what would the EMB look like? without all the Lux series and without the lighting mod that I was running with it. So I gave it a go yesterday morning. It looked real good. I thought, okay, right, okay. Well, we'll start the year by doing a stream and testing it and seeing what it looks like. And I think with some small ad adaptations, um, I can put the Setting Suns EMB out just for vanilla. Thanks, mate. That's very kind. There are some issues with NPCs. I'll show you in a minute. I'm not quite sure what's causing that. They look a bit speckly on the skin. Um, I'll go into the inn in a minute. Um, but I, I come in here for a reason. I wanted to get out of the rain because it was very loud. I wanted to say something. Um, I was talking about Morthor Ages. Um, and, you know, I took it down a while ago. But I really do like it. it is, it's, you know, it's, it's a nice mod. And a lot of people were a bit upset. When I took it down um, off Xbox and uh, PC. Um, but again, this is when AE come out. And AE just made everything so bloody complicated. But it will be coming back. <coughs> and I will. I am looking to bring back um, some other mods that I took down as well that people liked. Um, Mark, um, Mark Arth Origins. Which is a lightweight version of TPSC and Mark Arth Heights. So it's, it's, it's um, a lightweight version for xbox and for pc so i'll bring that back in time as well um, but anyways that's what i want to say about um more thor ages um you know i think i've uh tidied it up and corrected any small issues that the mod might have had and i've made a few updates as well folks if you use more thor ages you're you're oh that looks nice the night looks nice now now that's really impressive because this is that's uh vanilla and that is just the EMB with vanilla lighting and I've made no alterations so I think that's it's got a, it has got a, a large depth of field a strong sorry depth of field as you can see there okay and I like that myself personally but should you choose to use the EMB whether it's the full set in suns EMB or the reduced vanilla when it does come out folks you can adjust those sorts of things to your liking I like this. I like this. It's nice. Okay. And I like the Dark Knight as well. So. Okay. And because I haven't got, and that's one thing I, I must say, because I haven't got EMB helper loaded up because it's a vanilla test, obviously multiple weathers isn't working. But multiple weathers only actually gives a, an extra bit of light and changes the clouds um, thickness and density slightly on some of the presets. So I will load up EMB helper after the fact and check in my own time as well to see how multiple weathers fits with this setup. Okay, but um, I just wanted a pure vanilla really and, and, and not muck around too much and just see see the EMB, you know, as is without too many scripts or other stuff loaded up. 
Um, let's go into the inn because there's a skin issue I want to look at. Finally, someone comes in. Pick up your boots, stay a while. Let me know. I mean, of course, it's vanilla, so it's going to look shitty as hell anyway. But anything I can help you with? I got nothing but time these days. I just want to see how the EMB reacts in terms of lighting to the NPC. Well. <laughs> Couldn't get much worse, could it? Um, let's just look at the female. Would you like to buy a lady a drink? What would Frogar say if he heard I was drinking with you? Forget about Frogar. He's always so tired lately. Welcome to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be around. Good to have a customer. I mean, is that? You should be more loyal to him. Is a bit. Yeah. I just suppose because it's darker. Ain't much to offer. But if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Oh, Gorm. Buy your drink? Okay, I'll look into that. Um, Anything new? I might better improve the NPC skin quality via. When the time is right, friend. When we're sure. The longer we wait, the worse it gets. Let's talk about it sometime. Running an inn weren't my plan, but Folian decided to move here, so I joined him. Which one is it? Is it the pre-pass? Oh yeah, the skin hue here. So um, I might have to do some. I'm, I'm going to have to do some changes on this EMB preset. It's, it's not perfect, um, but f considering I just loaded it up with no lighting mod, um, <laughs> it's quite pleasing to be honest with you. You know, um, it's just an EMB that you know that I've been working on the Set and Suns EMB, um, and I just loaded it up with vanilla, and it's it's worked really well so far. So let's um. Let's move on. Let's have a look at a different part of Skyrim as a final. Let's uh, check some caves out. I think it's probably important we check out a cave system. Um, I'm just going to come through to the morning. Shit, me battery's flashing. Bollocks. It's flashing red. Hopefully I've got enough to finish the stream. Um, I might have to get up in a minute and change the bloody batteries. Should have changed that before I started. Okay. Let's just... Um Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> let's just take off. Um, that'd be much more intense then. Okay, and there's a line running through. Okay, okay. I did like that some um, horizon that I worked on, um, but I've sort of. I don't know how you feel about it. I mean, the lighting is great here, actually. I really like that. That's really sort of. Um, it reminds me of Rembrandt, an EMB that I loved years ago, that I always used to use before I updated my graphics card. Thanks, Jack, um, on that note. Um, within the set and sun, set the full set and suns EMB, that skyline and those clouds look a, a bit more intense. It really suits um, the full. Um, set in Sun ZMB, but for the vanilla, I don't know if I really like that. Let's see what other. Uh, I just want to check, folks, before we go and check an interior cave system and the lighting. I just want to run through and check more sun. Okay, let's go to. Let's go to. Um, that is nice, though. It's not without merit at the moment, considering, you know. Um, let's go to, I want to go to, um, Divine sake, Skald. Who do you think we're threatening with our We've old come to war Dawn Star at a strange we're not time. soldiers anymore. Seems everyone in the town is anymore. That skyline needs some work. Oh, bollocks. This isn't over. I can speak. You sending one letter to General Tullius. I'll have you. Okay. Both executed. All right. Okay, well, there is some work needed for sure. Um. 
in terms of the skyline. Let's just... Um, that's a bit more intense, look. But again, look at the skyline there. Oh, God. Hmm. You never talk much about yourself, do you, Gork? I swear, these past 30 years, you've been at my side, and I think I barely know you. What's to say? I was born on a farm, joined the Legion when I came of age, and I've served you ever since. What about your family? There must have been someone waiting for you. Okay, so, there, you know, there are some issues with this EMB that would need addressing. And I guess the question I have is, do I want to spend another two or three weeks sorting that out? I guess that's a question I'll, ask in, I'll answer in time. Let's just uh, see what um, a cave system looks like. light here but it is daytime and there's a lot of light streaming through we we'll see how darker it gets in a minute it is bright isn't it so I need to do some work on the interior lighting as well Oh, let's just, uh, let's do this. Um, save some time. Ah, I missed. Come on, you can do it. Thank you. Oh, you got me in the arse! <laughs> Come on then, you piece of shit. Where are you? Okay. We just pick up the claw. Oh. <laughs> I just remembered. I was thinking I was playing TPSC where I got a fast travel portal here. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Damn it. Never mind. Okay, but I can see, you know, the interiors would need some work with this EMB as well. What does it look like? Well, vanilla's even brighter. Look at that, look. Um, so, again, I mean, in terms of, of tone or whatever, I mean, it looks okay. It's just a bit bright. So, it wouldn't take a lot of work to fix up the EMB for vanilla. Um, let's go to... Let's try the rift. Um, let's have a look at the rift in terms of lighting. Um... What am I doing? Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> Vanilla E and B. It's definitely a lot better, isn't it? What's my brightness settings? Oh, wrong one. Have I actually... Well, brightness is well, sort of halfway. It's, it's about standard, isn't it? Okay, so um, 
Again, that rain's really loud. So really, what I want to do now is do a fast, um, a fast travel test to Morthor. We'll finish off at Morthor here now, folks, because um, again, I really just wanted to, you know, gauge the lighting with the EMB, the Set and Sun's EMB, just as it is with nothing with just vanilla, and it's actually probably um, going to be worth spending a few days just sorting out the horizon, the skyline and making the interior dungeons a bit darker because outside it actually looks really nice compared to vanilla in, in terms of you know the shading and the lighting and stuff so and then of course I put out the full EMB as well you know the full set and suns EMB I must remember to sort out the collision that's there that's yeah she's heading for it as well I can see okay um, There is one more test I want to do as well, in terms of spawns, just outside of Morthor. But I just want to look what's going on at night here, and everything looks good. What I'm really impressed with, and I was always impressed with, I, is I'm not one for talk. how neatly I'm the NPCs path along this bridge, even if there's three or four of them. You know, they never fall off for, or anything like that, which is really nice to see. Let's just... Uh, Oh, there's a cart here as well. Fast, new fast travel cart. Need a ride? See ya. It's so, oh, because of the torch, that's why. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, why is it so bright? But of course, I've got the torch there. And again, let's just have a look. Vanilla, DMB. Yeah. Time of day, five. Okay. In the morning. Again, it does look nice. Um, so, I mean, in terms of testing them, folks, um, you know, in terms of Morthor itself, Morthor Ages, um, it looks good to me. So, I think I will be uploading Morthor Ages in a few days' time, okay? And I think I will leave the stream there. Well, in a sec, I'm just going to do one more test. Oh, that's nice. I'm just going to test. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run out, run to the outskirts because I want to see. I'm hoping I'm going to get a. I want to get a spawn and I want to see how the NPC paths outside of um, Morthor. Hopefully they head towards Morthor itself. I'll probably have to test and do this test outside of the stream because it's uh, you never know which NPC is going to spawn. It can be, um, like I say, you know, there we go, it's, what's his face? He just stands around, so that doesn't help me. Okay, so there you go. That's more Thor Ages, folks. And it'll be coming in, a, I reckon, three days. I reckon it might be even the end of the day. I mean, because there's only two small issues that I've seen. Um, and I've been testing, obviously, locally as well. And it looks good to me. Um, 
I'll probably test it with TPS2 before I upload it, just to make sure it works with TPS2 without any issues. But uh, yeah, it looks good. Just a collision here, and uh, that was it, I think, actually, if I remember rightly. Okay, um, well, there we go. So, streams will... Uh, the next stream will be this weekend, folks. I'm going to do the uh, Oblivion stream, just for fun. Um, and I'm going to be cracking on with the CMB, and I want the CMB out by the end of January. And more Thor Ages will be out in the next few days for Xbox and PC, okay? Again, thanks for all your support. Uh, your support. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, coughing. Um, and uh, if you like what I do, you can support me on Patreon or via with PayPal, whatever. Um, vote for my work. Spread it. Spread the news, you know, about more Thor Ages. Uh, talk about it, you know, all that sort of stuff. Just uh, help make people aware of it. If you like what I do, I'd appreciate it. Support me in your way. That's always good. Um, and like I say, this year we'll be seeing the EMB coming out. The mod pack in February, all being well. Um, we'll have the continuing streams and they'll grow as the year goes on. And then it's the questing for TPSC after <laughs> after the Hafingar all-in-one is out. And I am going to be doing live creation kit builds. Um on my discord with a bit of luck and for patreons um i said i would do that that's part of um, one of the packages but uh, i haven't done no creation kit work for a while so so when i do start building um for hafengar i'll be streaming on uh discord i'm gonna have to get the nitro set up and buy some nitro i guess so I can do that because I'll stream on the Discord and the Patreons channel on Discord. So, so Patreons who have purchased, you know, the those packages can see me build and build Hafengar. Um, so if you're interested in CK work, then join me on Patreon. OK, um, the videos will go out onto YouTube after a while. So, you know, if you ain't got no money, you know, you can see the CK builds um, down the line. But you won't see them as they happen. Okay. Um, so that will be happening this year as well. When I start building Hafingar. Um, I won't do it for the quests. Um, when I come to build TPSC. The questing version for TPSC. I won't stream CK. Because that's so complicated. You know. You know. I can build. Um, you know. I can build up a town. I can. I can. It's just like second nature to me. So I can talk and build without really sort of screwing up it's really easy to do but when you're building when you're building a quest it's very complicated so i won't be um for the boy i'm a sword man. get lost guard i won't be doing any live ck streams when i'm building the tpsc quest version but i will be doing live streams um for the hafengar build which will come once the mod packs out folks all right so that's the sort of early part of the year and what's planned um, and once Hafengar is out, which will take about two months, three months, then in the middle of summer, we'll be into the TPSC questing build for TPSC, the add-on module that I've talked about. That's the plan. Give or take a month here or there, you know, because you never know what might come up. Um, so again, like I say, if you like what I do, support my work. I'd really appreciate it, folks. Um, Jack. If you're still there, I don't know if you're still there. Um, I know there's someone with me, but I don't know if it's you. Um, thanks so much for the, for the last year, mate. I appreciate all your support. And to all my patrons, uh, you know, your support has been most welcome and, and is most welcome. Yo, F, um, anyone that joins me on my streams, you know, again, thanks for sharing your time with me and supporting TPOS. And um, to anyone um, like Strictly that, that um, makes donations to me via PayPal, supports me on the streams, or in any way that you support my work, whether it's been in the past or the future or the present. Thanks, folks. Um, and again, the biggest thing, thanks for your patience, all right? Um, because I know I say, you know, oh, you know, I get eager and I want to get things out and I'll say I'm out. You know, I sort of said I'd have the EMB out in uh, December, November, and it didn't come. So all I'm saying is, is thanks for your patience as well. Um, but, you know, this is a big job. It is complicated. Um, 
it doesn't go go to go to plan all the time but i do get there the mod the mod pack and the mb will be out soon and i then will be getting on with the hafengar all in one which will be part of tpos uh, 3 so that's a really exciting build and i'm looking forward to that cheers jack thanks yeah so am i mate so i'll leave it there um i'll be back s i think it's sunday my missus is going to family so it'll be the um the oblivion stream will either be saturday or sunday but i think it's sunday this week i'll let you know if it's any different on my discord if you want to join the discord the links in the description box of the stream uh you know um you can get all my updates and information off of my discord folks all right so um i'll catch up with you all soon you all take care have a great year um, and look after yourselves and thanks for everything that you do for this project and for my family um take care folks i'm nesbit you're the people of skyrim good gaming let's just save that i guess nope